going back to August the 5th, 1895. Jerry Daniels with Stone Fences Tours says the idea was hatched during the coronavirus pandemic as a way to give folks something to do. We did a similar one to this in Lexington. I was like, let's do like an underbelly of for sales in the 1800s. Because of the pandemic and things shut down, it wasn't easy. We had some help with uh, Miss Sue Finney and the Historical Society, but we had to do a lot of this looking at old newspaper articles because the libraries <laughs> and everybody that wasn't open yet. So we started researching stories that you hear today are headlines from the 1800s. The tour begins at Amsden where you can get a signature bourbon cocktail or a coffee. People can take with them on this tour and actually walk around with them. Groups are limited in size to keep people socially distant. It was really engaging. Uh, the tour draws in everyone from locals like Dan Ruff. And I live here in Versailles, so uh, also I don't know a lot of the local history, so I feel like uh, I needed to um, bone up on the very town that I, that I live in now. It also attracts out-of-towners. We've had people from Cincinnati, kind of all over Kentucky, so it's been great. Woodford County was a great spot for travelers. Dressed in time period attire, complete with accents. Hello, hello, and how is everyone this fine evening here in Versailles? The tour includes everything from a murder at the old Woodford Inn. I was shot like a dog in the street. To a duel in the middle of now Big Spring Park. One, two, three, four. I was kind of surprised at the uh, the midway point when um, we had performances and actual actors reenacting, which always adds something. It also calls for a little audience help. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Would you recommend it to other folks? Uh, I would definitely recommend it. Yeah, it's especially if you're in Woodford County or in the surrounding area, um, just kind of brings the, the history of where we live to life.